Bible says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was cold, but he that shall endure unto the hand, the same shall be saved. Rapture Proclaimer Evangelical Church of God, RAPEC, invites all and sundry to our 25th annual convention. Tag, be rapture ready. Matthew 24, 42. We gather to examine our homeward journey to heaven from Monday 4th to Sunday 10th, November 2024. And mountain of solution situated at Akinleye Town, Iju Police Station bus stop, Iju Atan Otaogun State, ministering, Lady Evangelist A.F. Fumilayo, General Overseer, and other anointed ministers of God. Come for healing, deliverance, breakthrough, success, above all, salvation. Come experience the unexplainable power of God as we are right already. For more inquiry, call this phone numbers 0803-282-5416 or 0805-060-4508. Rapture Proclaimer Evangelical Church of God. It is our 25th annual convention. Jesus is Lord. We are going to say this. Uh, hey, God declare my adoption paper and confirm it to me. If you are not confirmed and you die, hey, hey, hey Holy Ghost, I knock my head with fire. You think it's a joke? Hmm. Oh, he, he, look, back then, Adam, mommy church like you, daddy church no like. Forget. In fact, let everybody hate you now. Forget whatever anybody can say. Because I said the situation is, has gone to the last point now. We are talking about that show. Excuse me. Stop thinking about 10 years. In fact, forget about five years. If not because the secret of the father belongs to his people, whatever God did not permit me to say, I cannot say it. There are some things if I declare it here, before you know, some people will go and resign and say they don't work again. You better pray this prayer. Is it every woman that throw himself to you, say he love you, you go accept? Is it every man that cry to you, say he love you, you go accept? If you have right to do that at his, and it's not a sin. So if some people give their life to God and they don't accept, not a sin too. I am a Christian by birth. Thanks of hell for God. Or maybe, maybe let's pray it like this. Let's start from here. Don't let me, because it'd be like say, I started, um, I've been rating you higher than your level. Let me say this. God, adopt, adopt me. Make me your child. Can you pray that? I'm a child of God. Hey, hey, hey. There's nothing like child of God by faith. Oh. If faith can declare you to be a child of God, no pastor will go to hell. Oh. Hmm. Lord, adopt me and make me yours. Allah will submit to me. 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 Adopt me, Lord. Ad Adura! Lord, adopt me. Make me yours. Make me yours. Adopt me, O oh Lord. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. A louder amen. amen. A powerful amen. amen. <laughs> then the second one is that first one I gave you. God, approve my adoption. Declare my adoption. Confirm my adoption. Approve, declare, confirm. Don't joke with it too. When you die in the position of I believe he has accepted me. And later, you now discover you are not accepted, adopted. So, no more choice now. Hell. Can you stand it? Excuse me. Stop abusing the idol worshiper. Stop insulting the Muslim. Stop. Stop castigating people going to clubhouse. The people drinking alcohol or arm rubber or even winch when you are not sure you are adopted by God. Do you know why? 
your shame will be too much if you miss rapture when you die and you meet them in hell they will tell you your brother repeat those things where you they talk oh yeah repeat them that's what they will tell you it's, let's stop let's stop claiming the faith without assurance i have faith excuse me you offend daddy daddy is still crying and cash is still day in hand i have faith that daddy still love me <laughs> anytime he cried they say go and beg him ah. don't worry even though he cry for so seven days if i just go there and say daddy i'm sorry i have faith you still love me ha ah. for that faith not to turn to problem for you you must confirm your spiritual status before you die confirm your spiritual status before you god accepts my adoption confirm it declare it Atura! in jesus christ mighty name we pray this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior, praising my Savior, all the day long, all the day long, this is my story. amount of anointing that can put an end to challenge battle sorrow or pain on earth the only promise and the, the only instruction you gave to Roy is to endure is to endure the only thing that will put end to our sorrow pains and shame is to make heaven the permanent solution is heaven. But everything on earth is endurance. We have been enduring. But the real one God, God will want is becoming difficult. Help us. Amen. Help us. Amen. Help us. Amen. Deliver us from living against the truth and the knowledge of the standard of God which we have known it in the Bible and we find it difficult to live by it and we are still deceiving ourselves that it is well when it is not well deliver us Amen. from foolishness deliver us Amen. from madness deliver us Amen. Lord Deliver us from living against the standard of your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, deliver us from the tongues of deceit Amen. that make us to believe. I know I'm a sinner, but mercy, mercy speak, mercy. And it's not by power, it's not by might, but by the spirit. Which spirit are we talking about? Is by the spirit I be then where is the spirit in you we are claiming against ourselves because those people that when you when you say brother your Christianity life is not okay ah, sir, 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 don't judge me the Bible says it's not by mind it's not by power it's by the spirit then what let us see the work of the spirit we don't need your power we are not asking for your mind all we need is is the display of the spirit when the spirit is working even blind we feel it lord i pray everything that we need to journey to heaven which is being taken away 
day by day without even feeling it at all lord restore it there's no man the arm robber will enter his house to rob that will not discover hey they pack my look but in the church in the christian deal, it is this christianity i see it's the only religion that being robbed every day and we are dancing we are robbed every day we are dancing in those days young girls go when i was young 30 years ago go to youth convention you'll be hearing thou sakes the lord among the youth you'll be hearing thou sakes the lord you will see young brother doing deliverance healing sick you will see manifestation of the holy spirit god walk and move powerfully among the youth all the great men of god today go and ask them the great time they have with god is their youth time but the youth of today their gathering is like cemetery and church is not crying church never make announcements church never say it out we are losing we are empty we are robbed they dance and give glory to god in shame lord restore us Amen. god 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 restore us Amen. thank you jesus in jesus christ mighty name we pray Let's clap our hand for Jesus. Let's have our seat. Nema shono, ema badura, tori ye yikoma, iba takoko. Ema shono, ema badura. To rear ye come on, a bata coco. A shora, a bashora, shora, yes, a mabadura. Only a shora, a bashora, yes, a mabadura. To the attitude of my beyond, who fed them, I get a bajao. In the creation of man, when God creates man, He creates man with two legs to walk on the ground. The land that be cursed, only leg will walk on it. He now creates head up. carry the control the power and the authority to make man rule over the coast land but church today they can pray but cannot wash they get carried away to a stand they don't know when they turn upside down walking with head and forget the leg they, they throw their leg up and walk in on the coast land with their head and that is why the head that carry authority is down so the voice cannot be heard again shora 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 ishora iki yesara ene tobati shora Obama, 
Eshora ke si mamba tura tori pe tori asite omo eni oku fe fe aye si baje o Jesu mi mbo wa o mbo wa ba ogo. Wash and pray. We can pray. Yes, we can. Then we cannot wash. When we lose our focus in washing, we lose our power. When you are washing, you will not miss it. Wash. I'm not talking about your streets. Wash. I'm not talking about compound. Wash, wash your life in the word of God. Wash, wash your life in the word of God. In the Bible, the way I'm talking. In the Bible, the way I'm living. In the Bible, the way I'm worshiping. Wash, wash by the word of God. But if you refuse to wash, you will be washed away. Totally wash away. That is why I say, wash, shora, wash, shora, wash, wash, wash. Kode ma badura. Torati de o moye ne yon kufe fe aye si baje o. Jesus be mbawa. The leaders of these religions, the fathers that remain behind, the forefathers has made it well, they wash it well, they guard it well, but the soap stop and weak children of the great father in our time they grown up to be our father and they lose focus what did our father wash they wash the standard of the religion our fathers in the lord 100 years ago 70 years ago they are so serious about the law and the standard of Christianity no they never submit to our culture they place the standard of our religion above the culture even in marriage they stand they hold their stood no Christianity will never take this will never do this because of this our forefathers many of them lose their family their family rejected them and church celebrates them some people the family inheritance they lost it because they embraced the standard and the law of Christianity which church of the last day are using to threaten you any church you go they did not allow you to be with your family is a demonic church that means the foundation of this religion is demonic if that should be because jesus christ himself says i've come to separate father from children then if you know that is a sin remove it from your bible stop threatening me stop threatening me stop condemning me i'm not going to bow to the losers claim to be a fathers if the law and the standard of God in your church is less why must you bring me down to your low level if I refuse to go down why must you do that to me and when I deny you when I reject you your blind children come against me Say my own is too much. Say my own is too bad. Everything, everything I put as a standard in this place is in the Bible. Sure. 
Shora 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 Kagba duwa so 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 Kogbe ni dele Afita bakpa oro inu oro mo Wonu oro lo Bi oro me When you swallow the word of God It will take over your life from you He will tell you when to use form When to use hand He will tell you everything He will take over everything But some of the Christians today They partially take over some part of their life And give the little part to Jesus Jesus Take over my finance But my dress will not concern you Take over security of my life My friendship will not concern you Take over my bath What I drink will not concern you Shora, Shora, Shora. What's all done? What's all done? Do you know? I hear the issue. You know, I hear one. Call on by the Kaye ba the Kesu wa ba yoku o. Hey, you run it. Koni she she la ye. Oba lo ba mama je. He said, I will never share my glory with anybody. Right now in your life, position is being shared between God and devil. 50 50. 50. Also, Fustani. Oh, do 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 now you get yourself you are conscious then but when it's night jesus take over fight for me protect me kill the darkness kill the wench protect me do this and do that mr commander mm. shola shola God doesn't do that. God never signs such a contract with any man. You cannot share your life with God and devil. God is a jealous God. He doesn't go in double. No. Only him. God, your day and night. That is why I'm giving the warning again today. Shora. Shora. That is why before you condemn me, the way we run this church, go and ask your father in the Lord how their church pattern started and ask them why did they change it to what they are today and what did God told them? Did God told them to change it to what they are today? Before you want our church to run like your father around their church go and ask your father is this how you started no there are some churches that's how they started but there are some churches that have 50 righteousness 50 worldliness and they are the same people you are trying to compare with me but it cannot work stop comparison stop it Before you judge me and judge other churches, go and read it. the foundation of Christendom. What did Christianity believe? What did they stand on? When the true missionary bring this religious to this Africa, what did the church stand for? 
go and ask how they start if you know how it started in the beginning then you will stop all what you are accusing us from i know many people are monitoring somebody say don't worry no be woman all this gara 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 holiness is preaching give her five years everything will change some will say don't worry 10 years some will say don't worry 15 years some will say before 20 years you will see everything will change my god do never change i never change the word of god never change even the bible i carry never change when you are waiting for me to change you go wait higher Shora, 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 kode ma badura. Monika shora, ma shora, ma shora, badura. Ada ide shora, ma shora, ada ma badura. Tori ati de abeni yaku fefe. Can you stand at lost? To gain your title in heaven. Can you stand at lost on earth? When the true word of God stands in you, anything you lose, it will be like say malaria, you lose, you lose headache, you lose problem. What people dying for when you lose it, you won't feel it. Whenever God puts you in that condition, like the day of three Hebrew. The king stand. God they serve. Stand. No one is supporting them. Only fire stand with them. What will happen to you, daddy? Be proud of what you have. Stop through the window of another family. Praise your own. Adore it. If we don't, what we don't wear in our church. If you want to visit us and you honor us, you take it away from us. Excuse me. Some people say, if you are doing like this, how do you get member? If I need member, the member will go come point it the one way they are no need. And for your information, all the people on social media make I hear, make you hear this. In this ministry, we don't need too much member not out here to gather the whole world in my church God said go and seek for the lost sheep of Israel the few that lost is the one they send me to go and gather not the world Bible say what to the world he did not tell me to go and gather he did not tell me to go and gather the world not the few that will be saved you see, I will have mercy on those I will have mercy. I will have compassion on those I will have compassion. The little one you have to have compassion is the one he sent me to. I'm not one of the geo that want to be great and have jet. That want to have church all over the world. I'm not one of them. I'm even afraid to be big. So take it easy. Nothing you say that will entice me to change it. I'm too stubborn for that. Because my God is strong, holy and pure. No pollution, no dilution. Praise the Lord. That is why today the digression and diversion in the church of God today, we need to talk about it. In the church of God today, There's a particular title that is forgotten in the church today. 
in those days this title is what everybody looking for the pastor are targeting that title geo of 40 years ago now that title then they target 100 years ago now that title then they target all the apostles they are targeting that title but today in the church the title is forgotten deleted in fact nobody ever fight to get that title again but there's a title that everybody wants reverence and pursue every day many people want to become pastor no let me start many people want to become workers no in that church i want to become workers it's a title but oh no that one is even better Many people want to be called, people to call them evangelist, evangelist Timothy. It's a good title. Yes. But to be an evangelist, evangelist will never be called in heaven. Evangelist is an assignment, it's an office. It's not a title. So, people will work in that office in order to get this title I'm talking about. Pastor is a title. But to be a pastor is an opportunity to gain the title I'm talking about. What title am I talking about? I'm talking about eternal title. A title that death can never take away from you. Pastor uh, Ariyo. In heaven, if they want to call your name, they will call you Pastor Ario in heaven. Answer, no. <laughs> Another title, Reverend. Another one opposed to, that one I fight all over. When you see small picking where just come out pampas, it's now a apostle. <laughs> I'm telling you. Small picking where in Mama see they say, Opposed to that quotation you used yesterday on the pulpit. It's not good though. Opposed to where or shall still be correct in quotation. Let them remove spam pass like this. They don't become opposed. And anybody call evangelist, they say, come here. What's your name? I heard you are an evangelist. Stand up. You can't sit down there. Go and sit at the back. And for your information, title is not a sin. Don't quote me wrong. Title is not a sin if you carry it with humility unto the law of God. If you don't allow your head to be swear, swear up to a stand, you start misinterpreting Bible. No, that's not what God means. No, that's not what Jesus said. If you don't allow that title because they believe any question they ask in Bible. You can answer it in your own way. While I don't certain. They call you Bible scholar. You they happy? Nobody is Bible scholar until Holy Spirit is called Bible in you. It is Holy Spirit that can interpret it better. Because he is the rewriter. Yes, it is man that wrote it, Abby. Everything you do on earth, a spirit leads you to do it. You will see some young boy never trained as a physician before. He will go into the farm and say, this leaf and this leaf can cure uh, epilepsy. And if you try it, it will work. Who taught him? A spirit. Don't you hear about small, small boys, small, small girls in Nigeria, especially in Easter pants, Igbos. He produce aeroplane. He produce maqua. He produce uh, moto. He produce AC. One produce this and that. One small girl produce ANSET. ANSET. One small girl. I saw the interview. I've been asking the rich men of this nation to promote that girl, to support that girl. Before you know now, Onyibogo Kariam. Do you know the kind of phone where this girl produce? Phone where we say, when he's talking to you, your image will appear physical like this. This get producer. I saw it on social media. 
and yet somebody now will now sit down here collect tight to tell me say you are important sit down there tell them to talk you will discover nothing they nothing remain in their brain you will see them telling story um in 1930 there's a man of god in nigeria called baba lola he owned a very big crusade here it's one of our father and the lord how i wish we'd be like him they will be telling funny stories that god cannot smile at the old picture black and white picture that disgrace your colorful picture because that black and white is better than your colorful picture let's turn and let's turn good title is not a sin those title those name you call title to me is not title is an office To be an apostle, man, you will cross from shore to shore, country to country. You will see an apostle on a branch of a church. Baba no die, If you die as an apostle, and you never preach gospel from shore to shore, mention one name of the apostle that stand on a church and die there. A whole and post to stay in a church. A post to happen to be a planter. A post to a crusaders. A post to a people that can break the bar and chain of darkness on a land on a village. People that can control element. People that can rebook the fight mighty. When a village, a town, a city are captured by darkness, a post to will step the land and the whole pillar will be shaking. The stronghold will be, will be falling. Those are the titles of a post to, not by paper, not by certificate. It is by power. And what power? By the Spirit of God. Look, don't tell me you are an apostle. Show me you are an apostle. I will call you 20,000 times. Apostle, 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 apostle. I will honor you. Just show me one of the attributes of apostle in the Bible. Don't tell me, no, 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 no. If they're born, you carry the title. Come to our function here. We want to introduce you. If I call you pastor, thank God. Though. If they're not born, you say, point of correction, please. I'm an apostle. I will tell us how to escort you out. Apostles are recognized by their deed. In Antioch, they gave them name that we carry all about today and disgrace everywhere. The name given to them by their attitude, by their anointing, by their power, by their style. All the honor they receive because of their lifestyle and endurance and pain. They left their wife, their children. Men, mature men that have wife cannot sleep with his wife again. They sacrifice everything they like. Some that love a mama cannot see, they cannot see their mother till dead. Their mother did not even know whether my son is still alive or dead. They become vagabond. They sacrifice everything they love to achieve that name. Is it not the same name? You carry to go and dupe one man and say, I'm a child of God. I'm a born I'm a Christian. You rub that name down and you still come up in the church and say, God, why me? You will see Zed you soon. That apostle you call them, you call them apostle because of what they have done. That's why you call them apostle of Christ. But Jesus called them disciple. Bible called them disciple. Several times when God wants to address David, he will say, David, my servant. Abby, then let me now combine it together. All pastors, evangelists, apostles, bishop, reverend, your real name is servant of God. 
Take away your arrogance. You are all servant of God. So, stop telling us or painting to us you are special. There's still a title you must hold. There's still a title you never get. There's still a title you are forgotten. That is the special. Tell me the name of your title. You are still a servant. Then keep it slow. Even though they call you prophet, you are still a servant. Even though you are called prophet, you are still a servant according to my Bible. And don't ever put it in your brain being a pastor, you make every hey! no promise of the father as given to slave anywhere. That is why evangelists for me is okay for me. I only a fool with jealous a bishop because he's a load that is too much for a lazy man to carry at what age did the apostles retire in death and their retirement is into glory they only retire from sorrow and death not from standing for their king. Let me now tell you something. All great men of God, listen. Do you know why your retirement is important? Time to me, oh, I don't know. You know, I don't go Bible college. I don't know why they retire people, Sha. Me, I don't know. Because I've seen many old men of God in the Bible that God is still talking to. God is still sending them. Abraham at his old age, God still talked to him. Am I right? All his prophets at their old age, he still talked to them. So if God know about retirement, he no go talk to old man. No. Do you know why you need to be retired? When you are too weak in the Lord. When we give you microphone, we tell you to pray for the Peking way than they do name me for. And you are talking about the barrier you go. <laughs> we tell you to bless couple. You are talking about the man that run man the Thai church when I do deliverance for. We know say Baba, you need retirement. Yes. When you grow in age does not make you to grow in strength. You may be grow to a stand. You cannot stand on the pulpit anymore. But behind this pulpit, the church will give you share. And you will sit down. You can't stand up. But where you sit, when you decree, the whole world can confirm it. You will never retire. No church will retire you. If your family asks for retirement letter, church will say no. Excuse me. All minister of God, pray that God do not allow me to grow over your grace. Do not allow me to grow above your grace. When you do grow to use grace of the anointing and power, please die before that time. Die, kia, kia. Don't ever grow above the grace. I'm still talking about eternal, eternal title. Title that death cannot take away. The title that the old church are crying for every day with tears. The title that are supposed to lay their life for. The title that the church reject their family, their friend, their loved one only to get is a title nobody pray for in the church again. It's a forgotten title in the church of the fools. And this title Another thing. No man 
on earth can issue certificate for it. It's impossible. No man is honor is powerful enough to give that certificate to anybody on that title. It's a very costly title because this title will cost you your life, your wish, your dream, your style. It will cost you everything. It's a title that will turn you to another thing. It's a title that will take you away from yourself. The only place in church I see that this title is mentioned today is in children's class. And what is that title? Child of God. It's the most greatest title in this religion of Christianity. Don't you know what that title cost Jesus? That title cost Jesus his blood to call you a son of God. He cost father sacrifice his own son to get you that title. What are you doing about the title? Internal title. Sons of God. Is it not the title you rub on the ground to collect a useless title that will be departed by death? Is a title of the saints. Is a title of the holy ones. Is a title of the heavenlyans. Is a title of the ones that control the angels in heaven and for your information in my bible my bible told me even the angels are not given that title let's read it no angel in heaven is called son of god and don't even make mistake things here eh? but bible says son of god and say hey, take it easy angel michael even Lucifer, even Jesus, they are not angel. Now we they call them angel. Angels are citizens of heaven. Citizens of heaven is different to the prince in the king palace. So prince called citizen subject. All citizens are subjected to prince. Though, in their own nature, I mean the prince of heaven, if they like, they can take the image of angel with wet feather. If they like, they can take a glorious image of their nature. If they like, they can even take the image of the four creatures. Either lion, eagle, they can take any image because they are the prince of the father. They can even come as a man. Jesus did it. Only Jesus is the lamp, is the lion, is the son of man, is the son of God. Let me read it in the Bible so that you will know that no angel is given that title. The same title given to you. Ingrid. Hebrew 1 5. Hebrew. Are you there? Let somebody read the book of Hebrew. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Can I can the NIV read for me? God has never said to any of the angels, you are my son. And that title is given to Christian and you are, you are washing it down. Are you okay? And you, all you want is to compare yourself with the losers. People that lost the title and their price is being paid off here. When a Christian is losing heaven, God can pay you off with wealth and riches of the head. Because he will never haunt you. If you remember how much you have suffered, he will just make you rich suddenly. God has never said to any of the angels, you are my son. Because today, I have become your father. 
Mm -hmm. Neither has God said to any of them, I will be his father, and he will be my son. Did you hear that? Only the prince he calls sons. And when Lucifer fall, he fall with some of his simplest. That's why the Bible says, son of God and the son of man. Bible never told us the numbers of the sons of God. I mean the prince of heaven. Bible never, I be, you know the number. John 1 verse 12. Both NIV and King James will read it. John 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Yes. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. Yet some people accepted him and put their faith in him, so he gave them the right to be the children of God. And who are the children of God? The people that obey God. And he said in this that book of John too, he say, "If you love me, you will obey me." Am I right? And uh, because somebody can say yes now, I have declared that Jesus is my my Lord. I am a child of God. Hey, you cannot disobey him and be his son because Jesus is a son of the Father and obey Father. If Jesus disobey Father, disobey God, and you will remain your title. But if Jesus did not disobey, the day you disobey, you lost your title. Because if you keep your title, death cannot take it away from you. But if you lose your title even before death gets you, then you are nothing but a loser. The greatest title, you are losing it every day and you never even feel it. The sign of your sonship. The sign as a child of God. Where is your sign? And what is the sign? Holy Spirit. Excuse me. Your adoption certificate is Holy Spirit. The day, the day you lose it, that day you are disowned. And a child that has been disowned will never be found written in the book of will of the father only the children Christ are you a child of God yes I am a child of God in the church out of church they are no more child of God they are the senior of God they are the commander of God Jesus go to my village now key 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 commander is talking Imagine if you are not losing it, if you are not losing something, how can a man, so called pastor or bishop or apostle, say, Last month the Lord told me, My son, I say, Yes, but uh, tell this man, sorry, apologize to him because of uh, no father. I can apologize. Don't you know what you do? And the father said, Yeah, son, what did he do to you? And now I explain. And father now say, Because of this, he shall die. Excuse me. That father is talking about he's not my omnipotent father that knows everything. How come now he go tell his father before his father will realize? His father needs a human advisor. Now fake father. Now fake father. And when they want to talk, they will say, Ezekiah, uh, when God say, that he's going to die, make you prepare a house. And now he did not say, God, I don't want to die. He only said, God, remember my work. Who can replace me? Eh? If I die now, these people will suffer. Nobody say, God did not have somebody to replace him. Do you know what God think? If I kill him now, people may lose faith. Upon all the goodness he did. Okay. We'll give you additional 15 years. But prepare their heart ready for your departure. Uh-huh. Nobody say no. Which kind of no. 
pastor started telling you, started telling you all those stories. How you tell God no? <clears throat> when I was in your campus, Holy Spirit came to me and said, God wants to use you. I said, okay, Father, if you want to use me, no problem. But before you use me, I have promised to take my mother to America. Do it first. And I want to be the house for my mom. Uh, if, you want, if you want to at, uh, attend the call, you know I never marry. Okay, give me a wife like this, like this, like this. And the, Lord, and the father said, yes, I'll give you. And that's how he do this, he do this. Ah, he run, he know the yes, what the work of God. How did you negotiate with Jesus? Can you give me the quotation that shows us the negotiation between Matthew and Jesus? Negotiation between Moses and God. Negotiation between God and Elijah. Then where did your pastor see that negotiation when they claim up and down? Stop playing fool in the church again. Read your Bible. Stop playing this fool. Go back and read your Bible. Apostle miracle. If apostle or archbishop is the Messiah title to heaven, but yeah, for Melaya will be the most arc. This old woman, I know, now only God know how many arc if I don't call it. Because we know it doesn't reflect in heaven. Your title will never be reflect in the book of life. So, para reni. Must you kill yourself? I repeat. Title is not a sin if you can work in the office. But many people collect the title without the office. And all that is a sin. When you tell me, Father, send me, I will go. And you know, go. Person will not collect the title, now go. Ah, judgment is waiting. I remember when we are in the back of when we never build this auditorium. My member was so happy when I tell them I want to collect title of Reverend Mrs. Ah, my member was so happy. Now people will respect our church. Me too, I believe say they will respect us. But forgotten we are still in Paco. That title no go by us met and uh, and block to build our church. Until God say, now you are a reverend. I'm also a reverend. We are mates. I can't help you anymore. Somebody may say, our, our daddy is a reverend and God is still with them. Mm -mm. God has the way he deal with everybody. He did not want me for that title. Because he knows, say, the work will send me in a rough war on the field. Scatter and will start all over. He knows saying that the work will send me. How can I be reverend? What I'm saying is this. If truly you have time for this work, you will not have time for others. What I'm saying is this. Many times people are ready to give you the title you don't deserve. But if your attitude click to that title, it will cling onto you. The only title that can be recognized before the Father is angels, the elders, the four creatures, and kings of heaven is the sons of God. And the moment you become the sons of God, you superior above the angels. Don't you know what it means? And devil hate it because that is the title he lost. That is the place he lost. That is the glory he lost. That is why devil have no reason to show pity unto you. Because you are the replacement. And if there's no man will love his replacement, then don't blame devil for hating you. Don't ever blame him. Why did devil hate me so much? Then this is from being a child of God. Listen and listen good. If Jesus Christ left his heavenly home to this world, if he only come 
to make us angel then the title is too small because angel you don't know originally a child of god superior angels you don't know that okay let me tell you the attributes of the of the sons of god hebrew that hebrew chapter one let's go to verse nine okay let's read from verse eight but unto the son he said thy throne O god is forever and ever i mean jesus a scepter of his righteousness is the scep is scepter of the kingdom that means authority to control kingdoms am i right and this is the attribute verse 9 thou hast loved righteousness and ate iniquity therefore god even thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. That means if you love righteousness and you are against iniquity, anointing from heaven that will make you the adoption, the Holy Spirit that will clarify and confirm your status in the spirit will be given. But how when you hate iniquity? and you love righteousness being a bishop does not make you a child of god being an apostle does not make you a child of god but you can be a servant of god bam do you know the meaning of servant of god someone that will go and deliver message for me and i can put a mark on you i can give you a uniform Yes, go and watch all the ancient story of the king. All their servants put on uniform. Yes. Yes. All, some of their soldiers, their servants, he put them in province. You head that province. He, if I, he, can, even, he can even make them, give them, give them a shift and see. You are the Kinecon of, minister of Kinecon. They went come to king only his sons he will put there that is why in those days you see king can have six wives because he need more sons to king over all those prophets and the land he has overcome so that in future the slave will not take it over from there and the king that tried it today, a slave, they rule those land. Everybody listen and listen good. If you want to be a child of God, coming to church does not make you a child of God. If you want to be a child of God, preaching on the pulpit does not make you a child of God. Pastor Ade, go to my house. Go and tell my children to open this door and pack all my clothes and clean it. And tell them I want to celebrate my birthday. Tell my children to clean all the house. Tell my children to cook fried rice and jollof rice. Take this money. Buy ram. Buy goats. Buy chicken. In fact, Give my children this money. My children may not even have the money. I will send you. Go and give to them. To do this. To do this. Excuse me. What's your name? Adi Steven. Adi Steven. Does that message turn you to Adi Adi Bayo? No ma. Then take it easy. That is it. Being a servant of God is not the final. And servant is not going to make heaven. Let's change. I have a question. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Please prove the evidence. Show the evidence. Before he died, before the three days, 
before he ascend he always call his follower disciple because they are still slave yes yes they are still followers they are still slave he got to father to grant the adoption because the papa will want to adopt a child must sign must accept father the sacrifice where i say you say make a go do i've done the sacrifice yes you say i should go and do it so that i can save them but i have a request the sacrifice i do is complete perfect but i don't want to save them alone daddy i want them to become my brothers please adopt them ah baba look adopt yes the generation of the people that kill you that i want to revenge father my people know you i have introduced you to my people they love you just the way i love father make them my brother if you see a son of a rich man that his father loves many of them tell their father take if i'm going to america my friend might go must go with me and they permit because father love his son he said okay anyone that love you i will love him that is where the situation comes sons of god sons of god and uh, this love we are talking about jesus christ stated out the type of love we are talking how do i know you love me he said if you love me you will obey i did not say you do not love god i did not say you do not love jesus the evidence to your love he say it is obedient that is the only evidence he wants but you want god to accept the evidence of financial donation many people want to buy the love with money no now cause paul called them peter about peter they cause them no we can't buy it you obey that is the evidence to show love to jesus you must obey his father that's the condition am i talking sense yes any god you serve you must win his heart to win the heart of your jesus don't obey jesus obey his father that's why old testament is included in new testament because jesus christ did not come to nullify his father but to introduce his father that is why before he can accept your love you must obey his father that is why the title of this message say internal title the internal title the sickness death cannot take away from you the age cannot take away from you that the, the title you cannot retire for even after life you remain child of god son of god daughter of god is a title that did not care about 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 sex either you are male or female why did church forget this title how come church is not pursuing this title anymore how come church lose the passion for this title how come you are deceived excuse me believing a pastor can give you a title to call you a child of god my brother welcome to the church you are now a child of god now lie no pastor has power to call you a child of god it is the attitude and the attribute of the sons of god which is righteousness and it is this attitude that that we hand you over to holy spirit for certification 
that will give that will approve the certified certificate of your adoption before father church is managing you and you are happy what's the problem you need job abby don't worry let me go and process your destiny but be praying shall if you are lucky if god answer pastor will now go and talk to father you be bastard who give that pastor right to be the intermediary the only assignment given to that servant called pastor is to introduce you back those servants called pastor yes that's so bible all the apostles before the day of pentecost they are named disciple disciple being follower all the disciple they are they are like that it is after they die now we church call them apostles to abi to make it honorable abi fine it's still good but the major title that pentecost brought to them is to make them sons of god which the title that is greater than disciple apostle bishop son of god is greater title in christendom which church turned to the most smallest title generation of the fools look for your title before you die so that you because it is the ticket that will give you your crown in heaven sons of god and nobody on earth can give you but that spirit of pentecost there's another way that gift is displayed i saw it in my grandmother i've never seen my grandmother speaking in tongue before in my life but if you are calabar my grandmother is an illiterate if she wants to read bible we'll turn it upside down and he will use glass he say mama go go buy biscuit buy sweets you go to give you please come and help me to read bible she did not know how to read but if you are able come to an hour for prayer the first thing we say leo ruko jesu if you just say amen me you accept the next statement will be in your tribe language if not kalaba you will speak if not Igbo, you will speak even though you'll be shyness my grandmother won't use that language pray for you after the prayer jesu luawa amen you cannot communicate again you know here again these people say Lekebo, Rakabo. let them display this let them display it not in the language they know they can speak frequently let the holy spirit put new language in their mouth when it's needed forget about Lekebo. let a man from Ileve that did not learn language in university speak spanish when he's talking let him travel out and preach his Spanish on the stage. I will worship his God. But I will confirm saying now from God because devil too have that gift too. Yes. Let a man of God say, The Lord gave me a message for the Indian people. And I'm going to address you in your language. Namaste. Make it start speaking India to India. If Nigeria no, we will not be flooded with India in that church. Let's stop dragging nonsense. Let's stop imitation. God has something we never display. Go to God, get a new, a new style, a new anointing, a new power. Display it. If you are bored, you want to be happy, go to social media. Christian speaking in tongue. Blood that goes strong, you go wee for your body. You go laugh. Our people act like when people are worshiping idol and the spirit possess them. Let's stop it. Get your title, son of God, with the attribute of righteousness. Let your hate be against iniquity. 
Then the Father will accept you, adopt you, and He will plant you in His kingdom, and nothing will affront you. Stop deceiving yourself. Take away that false hope that say you can still make it when you fail in making anything here. Strive to be a son of God. Take away arrogance. Take away lies. That secret desire for worldly dressing that you pretend you don't like. Take it away. Let your passion be for God. Even though you still like it. Say I sacrifice for my God. And I'm not going back. And don't forget. When you find yourself in the situation when God is silent. Remain whom you are. Don't ever join them to say, God, if you don't do this, I will not serve you again. It's a statement and the language of a loser. Because let you stop serving, God will replace you with 1,000. Go to a Muslim country now. Don't you see in thousands how they are giving their life to Christ? In thousands, they are receiving Jesus. Lose your Jesus. And the unknown one we get it with joy. Keep your Jesus. Hold your Jesus. Claim your Jesus. He will never reject you. Stand on your feet. Internal child. Kill your passion for Jesus. Kill your dream for Jesus. Kill your desire for Jesus. Kill your pride for Jesus. Sacrifice everything. Just to win his heart. If you can give money where you no give to your mama, money you cannot give to your mama. If you can give it to a woman just to win his heart, then give it to Jesus. Uh, I've been praying, 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 praying. Uh, Jesus, no give me Holy Spirit. Excuse me. Because a useless boy where they smoke all around. Come to stand by your window every day begging that he love your daughter because of the persistence and you know his lifestyle, no worry. Because of the persistence, will you give your daughter? Eh? God forbid. Then, because you are persistent, will he force God to give you Holy Spirit when your attitude will disgrace the power of that God? If your lifestyle will still disgrace the glory of God, his spirit will not be given even after 1,000 days of fasting. So, any pastor that teach you that you can frustrate God or threaten God or hate God because of fasting, go back and tell and say, now nah, also you will get from it. This fasting and prayer is only for those that can sacrifice what they love for the God of prayer. It's not for stranger. It's for the children. Pray this prayer. Every lifestyle, hobby, and attitude of Lucifer in me that stop me from claiming the right. Of the Son of God. Lord, take it away by force. You don't tell where they tell and say, I don't want you. They stop on. So now help me now. Oh, yeah, chase it out. Deliver me. Take it out. Atura! In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. You know, devil can do anything to tell you you are not capable. He can give you fear. He can give you financial crisis. He can, he can make people that are supposed to encourage you to discourage you. Number one question, be sure. If it's God talking, then if, he, if it's God talking, he what's dying for it. And this message today, all of you were all over the world bragging and swelling I am a pastor you are a servant of God we are the children of God so take it down 
sending you to pass message. And that person in Bia Palo may be a child of God. Though. And you still remain servant of God. So all servants of God started processing your adoption. Your target is to become sons of God. Because any pastor that can lie to defend a lie is still a servant of God. It's only a pastor that finds it difficult to lie that is a son of God. Any a pastor that can give you prophecy only to target money in your pocket is a servant of God. So a whole servant of God, hey, stop it. He's a servant. So that is the attitude of servants. Son of God will never do that. So being a man of God, son of God, does not trick me. Excuse me. If I am a king, and you happen to be my servant, I can put my seal on you. I can put my logo on you. Mean anointing. Just to carry out my assignment, not to take over my kingdom. Hey, stop bragging about your anointing. After all, Saul the king was anointed and failed. Take it easy. Let your pursuit and targets now be a son of God. Start it. If you have forgotten, I open your understanding today. If you are debating, I bring you back to your way today. Your blood is no more on me. I have done my duty. Even me, for me, liar, I'm striving every day. That title of son of God, I don't want to lose it. I'm keeping it tight. I'm being injured because of it. To protect it, I have been denied. To protect it, the world hates me. I refuse to let go. Whenever you hear when I say I am stubborn, my stubbornness is to protect that title. I don't want to let it go. If you don't have it, pursue it. If you have it, protect it. You must not lose it. When you lose it, you are a great loser. That is why whenever we gather, it's a threat to the kingdom of darkness. That is why the devil is bringing different type of wahala so that this conversion, conversion will not take place. And they have already failed. Jesus never, never lose his power. Oh, never, never, oh, never, oh, never. Jesus never, never lose his power. Jesus never, never lose his power. Never, 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 never lose his power. Oh, never, oh, never, oh, never, oh, never. Just never, never lose his power. He must never, never lose his power. Pray the prayer. You are going to tell God. God, my understanding has opened again. Lord, give me the passion to get my place back. In your presence. You need passion for it too. My brother. Don't you know this thing you are doing is a sin. My sister I know. Do you know I even want people not to do it. But you know my work. Did not permit me. If anything happened to this work now. My mother would die. My father. We, my brother, you don't understand. I have two brothers in university. <laughs> but if you have passion, the whole family will call you wicked. Because you will not care what will happen to anybody. How come? Jesus Christ cannot be a sacrifice to save the world. And you to become sacrificed to save the family. Now that you, you will refuse. Because that work, that work is challenging your salvation. You are going to pray. God, my understanding is open again. Passion to pursue the writing. Passion to get back my position. Passion to become side of God.
passion for heaven lord restore into me i have lost it i have lost my passion it's not like before i'm just pretending lord give me back open your mouth and pray In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Make me your child. Make me your heir. The son of God and the king of glory. Make me your child. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Really? And. Redemption. Many have lost their place in this place. You say because we call, you will redeem. Lord, we pray. We have missed our place. We realize our mistake. Lord, let the blood of Jesus Christ do the work of redemption in this place today again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let all lost souls, weak soul, fallen soul be restored again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ blot away every accusation and iniquity from our record that condemn us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Devil want us to lose it. Devil want us to waste and be wasted. He did not take us out of the church but he's taking us away from the realms of the spirit of God in the church and we are being deceived we are there we are rise we are no more there just like the day of Adam and Eve in the garden Adam remained in the garden but the omnipresent and omnipotent God cannot see him because he thought he was there but is no more in the presence of God. That is the position of the church today. Lord. Before you cast us away from your kingdom. As you cast Adam and Eve out of garden. Before the casting out we begin. Lord restore us. Because another casting out is coming. Even before the casting some are falling away now. Before the casting and the great rejection will happen in rapture, Lord, redeem us. Amen. Restore us. Amen. Help us. Amen. The passion Amen. for heaven. Amen. Passion Amen. for the Lord. Amen. Passion Amen. for righteousness. Amen. Passion Amen. for obedience. Amen. Passion for the word of God. Amen. Passion for relationship with God. Amen. Passion for prayer. Amen. Give unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Help our weakness. Make us strong again. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Please, everybody, make sure, like I told you last time, make sure each time you watch our message on YouTube. Click the button. Subscribe. In fact, comment. You know, since we started putting our message on YouTube, nobody is buying CD again. Everybody watch on social media. And the problem is this. We upload every week. I mean every week. And people watch in thousand. Do you know why we are saying this? People behind camera, people edit. 
we upload. We pay money for the website. We pay different money over there. The gathering of the heavenians, the gathering of the children of God, the gathering of the rapturables is coming up again in November 4, our convention titled Be Rapture Ready. Devil ah. hate it when I'm not gathering you for fake miracle, when I'm not gathering you for fake surprise, when I'm not gathering people, go and make a cross and give them, come and display them. I want to heal you. When I did not go and buy a coffin and pay you to lie down there as a dead man, when we are coming with true word of God to liberate you, to prepare you, devil ate it with passion. And devil want to stop many people from coming which he has been failing and he will fail again Amen. and devil want to say he won't be able to do it and will be able to do it Amen. so therefore the convention this year we still need a lot we need a lot we are praying that god should help us so that all the visitors that are coming you see the hostel we want to build. You know we have started the hostel, Abby. We are built to Linted already. But all our effort last year, we don't know say this year. Cement we turn to triple. Iron we turn to four. Pool. We don't even know. All the money we got that thinking we are good to go. We are powerless. We can't go anywhere. But we believe. Uh, God will still help us. God bless you all. Please, we will expect your support. Please pay into this account. The same account, 013-610-2530. I call it again. 0136-102530. The third time, 0136-102530. That is GT Bank. And the name of the account is Warning Bell Concert. And if you need the dollar account, it's 0633-981568. I call it again, 0633-981568, Garati Trust Bank. And the moment you pay this money, please send message to this phone number. Send message to this phone number. To confirm your payment, forward your receipt there, please. Even though it is uh, all pay you use, even though it's POS, at least they will give you receipt. Snap it and forward it to this number: zero zero three five seven six six three three one zero eight zero three five seven six six three three one. So that we confirm your payment. So that we don't use the money for convention for another thing. The Lord will bless you. Amen. And then, the flex. Buy. Put it in your house. Is it too difficult to advertise it? God advertise my glory. Now one glory be this, you know advertise. Now by force. Which kind of one line be that? Eh? And now, can you see? Be rapture ready. Let me see the front. Wow. Be rapture ready. All these colors are colorful. Please, how much is a t-shirt? 5,000. The Lord will bless you all in Jesus' name.